Hello guys, who here, back in another video, this time around guiding you through the Snowfest event that is going on right now in Trove, the last event of the year. Of course, we also do have the New Year's event, but that is going to happen in 2024, start of 2024, probably like the first week usually it is. But so this is actually going to be the last event of the year. So I'm a little bit of a rush because there is a maintenance in 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to get all this done. So we're not going to make the longest of intros. Also, if I do sound a little bit sick, I'm still a little bit sick after being kind of sick in a whole month. So with my throat and yeah, just, you know, cold basically, but really couldn't kick it. But I'm going to the doctors again tomorrow, so it's going to be all good. But we are going to talk about the Snowfest event. And of course, if we go into here, that was not the way I wanted to go. Of course, we do have the event going on right here. But of course, we also got the 14 days of daily adventures. So make sure you, of course, you do these every single day, especially on that Saturday for that double XP potion. So with that said, you, we can jump from the intro into the very first step. All right, guys, for step number one, all we have to do is go to the Trove Hub and actually meet up with Elvesley. And Elvesley is right over here. This is, of course, where, the, where we spawn in, of course. And right over here, we are going to have Elvesley. There should also be some sort of gift. At least I saw that in the post, but it might be coming closer. I know there's gifts right here, but these are you can interact with those. So it might be coming later when we get closer to Christmas Eve. But, of course, again, this is over where uh, Elvesley is. Uh, you just have to go up and interact with him use whatever button that is for you for me it's the e button so all you have to do is just go ahead and interact with him and uh, you know it's the time for uh giving the, the giving of the year right so anyways <laughs> congratulations also to the person that just got two diamond dragon eggs in the rose box as well well <laughs> this has nothing to <laughs> with the event but uh that's pretty cool to get it on camera anyways but that was step number one now we can head into step number two all right, for step number two, all we have to do is uh, craft the gift giver standard. That's just the banner we are going to craft right here. Oh, he is still opening the diamond dragon eggs. Anyways, you can do it right here at the snow fest uh, table. Uh, just a little reminder or just a little hint right now. The uh, glacial shard thing here is bugged at the moment, but uh, probably after the maintenance thing, it is going to be fixed. So probably that's why we we're getting a maintenance just in like 20 minutes from now or so. Uh, so I'm not going to finish every step before the maintenance. So hopefully it's not too long a, a one. But right now it is another one. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Diamond Dragon X are just uh, popping off at the moment. But anyways, this one is bugged at the moment. So don't go ahead and craft it yet. But you should definitely go ahead and craft it after the update. So if you're seeing this in a couple of days, you can definitely go ahead and craft this one. But it's not really necessary for any of the steps that are in the future. Uh, it's something from some of the old stuff. So if you don't have some of the old stuff, this is something you are going to need for uh, some other stuff as well. But for this step, we have to craft the gift givers standard so we are going to get of course this one here and this is the one that's going to give you gifts when you defeat an enemy so you do have to get this one equipped so you can actually get the gifts but it's going to cost you flux blank scrolls bottles fade dust and enchanted wood and all of these things can of course be obtained on the marketplace of course these are from fey biome this is from also from the fey biome this is just from random around the world you can also get it from gardening and then of course blank scrolls is of course from recipe dungeons when you do collect these you get them there and flux is i guess flux right so if we want to complete step number two we are just going to hit the craft the button and you can see that is going to complete us step number two and we're done with step number two that's pretty simple but pretty easy but now we can of course go ahead and get into step number three all right guys for step number three all you have to do is go out there and do what you normally do when you're playing trove just go around defeat enemies of course make sure of course you do have the gift giver standard i do have a skin on this one that's because uh, if you go here you can see it's right here but you do have to have this equipped if you don't have this one equipped you are not going to be able to get these gifts and it's just random i think i uh, killed about 10 enemies or so before my first gift spawned so for step number three all you have to do is just go ahead and unwrap it by uh, of course accepting the gift and you can see yes i want to accept it and that's going to complete your step number three but it's also going to give you some experience uh, and it's also going to give you a treasure box as well so you can get three of these every single day to get some of these and of course unfortunately these cannot be traded so you have to open them but it seems like to be some pretty awesome stuff. Chris like cores, for example, pretty awesome to get this one as well. So run around with the banner on 
and of course uh, then uh, just defeat enemies and you are going to do so. So that's step number three and we can move on to step number four. All right, guys, step number four with only 15 minutes left before we are going to do this. I'm probably only going to finish like maybe this step and then next before the maintenance. But anyways, in this step, we have to defeat five present dungeons. So these present dungeons, and I was pretty lucky finding two next to each other. These are just what they look. They look like big gifts. And you are just going to defeat the enemies, of course, in it. It's one star dungeons. You are going to do so. I did go to U11, uh, but you can go to any world you basically want. I tried to go here, kind of looking at the geo top side. I couldn't really find one. So I'm not sure that it still spawns in the geo top side or in the Sunderling Uplands. The Sunderling Uplands is, of course, the one with the skull here. The Well, this has basically also a skull. The even eviler skull, I guess, but the very evil skull over here. I'm not sure they implemented these press dungeon in those biomes yet so i would steer away from them and just go for the regular biomes as well um especially just for the this quest step and then later on you can just like look for whatever there is but at least for the quest quest step we are going to go to the old biomes that are just you know regular ones and not to your top side and not the sun like uplands and just go here so i can actually get the five done so we can go uh, continue to this on five of these and you are done with step number four and again it looks like big presents so just keep going around and they are in and i know they are 100 percent in all the old biomes but again Jude, or maybe or may, I'm pretty sure maybe also Jude, but um, I don't want to give you any false information, at least not for the quest step. But for later on, you can go test it out. You got 14 days, of course, so you can go test all of them as well. So yeah, maybe you can put it in the comments if they're also in Jude or in the, uh, on, in the Sunderling Uplands, in the Sunderling Uplands as well in there. But I'm gonna get me five before the maintenance, hopefully, and we can get into step number five before that happens as well. But anyways, see you in step number. F this was step number four. We see you in step number five. All right, guys, we are now done with the five present dungeons, and now we have to get the three dungeons done. We need three of them. It's very hard for me to say three, three dungeons that is so hard for me to say especially when being sick and also not having my native language being uh, you know this one uh i maybe i could say it in danish you know tre, tre, uh, basically be i guess the same thing but we have to clear three of these to get these and they are in every, every single biome they are i found one actually right here i found it right out here i found one there and i found one here uh, while trying to clear those present dungeons as well i'm not sure if the present dungeons work or not with that step as well but all you have to do for this step you actually don't have to go it says clear it all but you basically all you have to do is go ahead and defeat the end boss of this one as you can see right here uh defeating it boom 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 there we go and also ooh, they actually gave me a gift with it as well i'll take that and you can see that completed it actually. So I'd still have the other steps as well. I would, not steps, <laughs> but the other two parts of the three du star dungeon. So I would go ahead and clear those as well because they do uh, drop events things. So I would go ahead and clear those as well. But I just wanted to show you guys that you only really had to get the last boss in there. And as you can see, five minutes left before the maintenance. So I'm not going to be able to get you more before the maintenance. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure I actually I'm even gonna complete this step for myself so yeah I'm just gonna wrap it up here and see you guys in step after the maintenance and also in step number six clear uh, three star dungeons or three dungeons the three of them and we uh, are gonna see you guys in step number uh, six because this was step number five all right, we are back with step number six and also maintenance on PC. And congratulations to Xbox and PlayStation for a new record. You guys got the patch for the potions and also the titles update. You guys already got that one before New Year's. So congratulations on that. Just wanted to mention that as well. Of course, it's nothing to do with step number six, but I just wanted to say it right here after we actually have two hours maintenance on this uh, day because they also did the other one on the PlayStation Xbox, but it had nothing to do with PC, but the servers are first up now. But <laughs> what we're doing right here on step number six is that we have to complete five dailies of the snow fest here. And you can see if you go back to the hub, this is where they are going to be. We're going to go through them one by one. So the first one right here is to make a donation and you make that donation 
right i think it's on this one yes this is of course the donation and you can donate whatever you want right here uh, i don't know what the best of these are you just have to look them up to which one you feel like is the best one for you there is some of them that are definitely more expensive like bardium for example also these is the loops and these also the matrixes there is legendary tomes which gives you this five of these every single week so if you had some lying around for example doing that one it could be something you want to look into but they usually quite expensive the same also with of course the circuits so there's a lot of stuff that is a lot easier to get i would assume this one is it is a lot of these sure but they are also quite easy to get and yeah that, there's just a lot of stuff that is pretty solid to get i'm not really sure which one i'm gonna go for maybe i'm going for the oh 11 souls oh, that's kind of big maybe plasmium oh i think i'm gonna go with the plasmium you can also go with the oh this is actually also a good one actually for the pearls but i'm just gonna go with the plasmium this time around just to complete that one as you can see i completed one of them then we can of course go to this one completing some trees as we just did before earn a dragon coin and also a snowball fight last year the snowball fight was a little bit bugged but but it could work in the end but yeah we do have to do that one i'm not sure if it works this time around we'll see but let's just check them right here so again uh present dungeons you only have to do three of them and then you only have to complete one tree and again you can go to the top and you can complete it easily earn a dragon coin either do the collection challenge or other challenges but you can cheat a little bit and i would not recommend doing this you are can get you know five coins for 750 of these so it is possible to get that or you can complete a tome or something like that to collect it as well but i'm just gonna go ahead and do the most forbidden thing and actually spend my hard thing earned on this one to complete this one as well. So yeah, you can see here, I completed this one as well. You can see I got it from there as well, coin and such. So there you go with that one as well. But so now we have to get the dungeon tree, uh, the tree dungeon, <laughs> and then the present dungeon, and then also get into a snowball fight. And the snowball fight is, of course, right up here to enter that one as well. So that is step number six so do five dailies you can also spread it out on multiple days if you want to do that it's not really necessary to complete it all at once it's really up to you no matter what you want to really do so but you have to do five and that's step number six so now we can head into step number seven all right, five daily quests done. We are now on step number seven. Yes, the snowball fight is bugged, but if you do regular PvP, it is gonna work just the same. So just if you were kind of curious and it didn't work and stuff, it does work, but it, it's kind of wonky. It was that last year as well. I don't think they're gonna fix it uh, since they didn't fix it this year. So just do regular PvP and you get it done as well. But now we have to craft some snowballs and we're gonna do that in the hub. So we are gonna go over here to the crafting table uh, and we are going to get these ones. So you do get five of these. So you just have to do one craft. It's not 5,000 uh, glim, it is just Five or a thousand which it can be still quite a lot but we just have to craft or sell five as you can see here it is going to complete so just go to the snow fest table and then craft it right here again i don't know if the shards is fixed yet but uh, hopefully they are but um if they're not well then make a ticket for sure i know some people have already so uh, the more of course that would be great but that was step number seven now we head into step number eight all right, for step number eight, as you can see, I am in step number nine. I had no idea that it was just use it. I was kind of weird that I like used the snowball that we had in our inventory. So, you know, I crafted some snowballs as we had to do in the previous step. So I did that, had some snowballs and it said use the snowball. And I, I did, and I just threw it in the club world right here and it works. So you just have to throw it. That is step number eight. Not really much more to it. We do have to use it for the next step. We do have to. That's what the real purpose is. But you can just throw it. Uh, you can throw it just after you crafted it. And it would complete step number eight. So pretty simple. Pretty easy. Just throw it. Make sure it's in here. And just throw it uh, somewhere you want to. Maybe at your friends. Who knows. But anyways. This uh, completes step number eight. And we can head into step number nine. All right, we are now on step number nine and we went to the permafrost biome. I suggest you guys go to this one right here. This has the most permafrost biome and you have to find yourself the angry boys, as I call them, the uh, Hornet Rufuses, these guys at least. They are very, very angry, as you can see. They really don't uh, like anything at all. But if you throw a snowball at them, they become very, very happy. And just a little bit, it just takes a little while and 
Uh, sometimes you do have to defeat them, but sometimes they just don't do anything at all. But, oh, this one, it, I, I did hit him. I did hit him. <laughs> don't worry. It works. It works. And he's frozen. And, yes, and we defeat him. I think you have to defeat him. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you have to, but maybe you do have to defeat them anyways. Oh, that one uh, worked as well. So just go through here. Make sure you are in a permafrost biome and they are quite easy to see because they do look quite angry so it, it does have to have the angry thing above its head there's a tree a dungeon as well so i am going to find the last two i was hoping i could find it right here in the step here but uh i guess i only found those three but again it has the most permafrost biome as you can see here so that's why i suggest you go here but you can go anywhere you basically want to as long as you are in a per permafrost biome there's another guy right there oh there is the two guys so we're gonna get it in this step as well he teleported and uh, this guy hit him as well and defeat him as well just might as well <laughs> and that's gonna complete step number uh number nine and we can now hit into step number 10 all right for step number 10 we're just gonna do it right here all we have to do is use these warm fuzzy feelings that we got warm fuzzy feelings that doesn't sound pretty terrible to me at least not in this cold cold weather we got at the moment but you're gonna gain of course also the buff but it is just use it so make sure it's in your hot bar and i'm just gonna press t right there as you can see that is gonna complete step number 10 so get that warm fuzzy feeling to uh, use that one as well so yeah that completes step number 10 we can now head into step number 11. all right we are now on step number 11 almost finished with the quest line here you have to donate to the donate station and i do suggest you guys if you're not in a rush if you don't care to get it finished today or tomorrow or no matter like if you can wait one day i would suggest you do this tomorrow because then the resets with the donation quest as well the quest we were doing for the daily you could do two quests at the same time and you're basically gonna save one donation so you might as well save this one to tomorrow if you want to do so but if you were in a rush it's not going to be the huge of deals uh depends on, again on what you do pick from the donation thing down here if you do pick uh bardium for example it's 11 right it's not crazy but bardium is not super super cheap and some of these stuff down here is not either again i would suggest maybe the pearl of wisdom or maybe the uh, plasmium as well some of uh, most of these things you can buy on the marketplace if you want to do so but for the quest, I am going to go make a donation right now just for the quest line, of course, for you guys. And there's so many things to donate. I think it's just amazing that all these things and these are definitely new, I'm pretty sure. But it could have been there last year as well. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead, get myself some more plasmium. And that, of course, is going to complete step number 11. And we can head into step number 12. All right, guys, for step number 12, I'm already done. I just had to make sure it was the right thing. Well, what you have to do is open the leaderboard. And uh, for me, it's binded to K. And then this is the leaderboard. As soon as you open this, it's going to complete. But there is a daily contest right here. It's a daily one. So it is going to reset every single day. So it's not going to be a weekly thing or whatever. So this is going to reset 14 times because it's 14 days and we're going to get these rewards so we are going to get a mysterious a trophy case which is also it tied into the event just going to get that just by doing the first one here so just need a score keep that in mind score and then there is also a rank so rank it means that you're kind of competing with other people but score means that you are going to get it no matter what uh, that's just sort of a, a thing the same thing goes for if you do these contests for the weekly ones score you can see down here says score if you get a score of 125 plus then you are going to get these no matter what and then the other ones here you are competing against people that has a higher score so you can get up 250 uh but yeah that's that's but basically what score means and what a rank means so if, if you didn't know just a little bonus information there so you always guarantee to get the score if you get enough but it's not always guaranteed to get uh, 125 and then you are also going to get competing in the ranks because you can see some people are already like 4,000 on the boomer so yeah you definitely need a lot more and this is resetting in, in six days as well but these are dailies this one is for of course leviathan kills uh this gives of course the big ego potion so your high head gets big for a minute and again this resets daily so it doesn't really matter too much but it's a little bit more interesting i really like how they 
uh, introduced the leaderboard as well. It's a nice addition to this year as well. But you can get some treasure boxes a lot more if you get to a thousand. I don't know what exactly how much you need for a thousand, but you can look it up. It, 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 it's quite it's quite a, a nice amount you need for that one as well. And then there's also a effigy. So an effigy, what that means is that it's going to uh, unlock something you haven't unlocked, like a mount or an ally or something like that. So that is just going to unlock some stuff. So that's why it's up here. And then some more mysterious uh, cases, event edition as well. So I would kind of see how it goes through the days of course in the beginning people are going to do it a lot more and then people are going to you know slowly but surely kind of give up on it because then you know people don't want to like go crazy or anything like that always do that people always do that in the beginning so maybe look to this later days or whatever just just bide your time don't try to compete too hard in the beginning unless you want to uh if you have the economy for it of course but yeah you can see i donated like twice and I am like right here. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to do donate every single day just to get this case. I'm pretty sure because getting that score is just amazing. Um, I think that's funny uh, to get that one. Uh, but yeah, you should really look into uh, this one as well. But that is step number 12. That is the snow fest 2023 uh, completed and also shown to all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more videos, of course, coming if not another one before the New Year's. But Check out, you know, everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.